Hello everybody, it's Theo here from Firm But Fair Gaming, bringing you another Bellwright video. Big news coming out today, there is a patch coming to the preview branch, which means it's also just a couple way, weeks away from becoming live. So let's go over what's happening to preview branch, and here we go. The biggest news in the patch update that is coming is we can have gear preset. So we go into our staging ground here. As you can see, we have our select preset. So we have one for if they are a villager versus if they are companions. So if we just want to take a look, let's go in and edit the villager. So you can just see here, they're just going to grab mediocre clothing to wear. But if we go to our footman, they would grab a one-handed weapon. And then this is a priority listing they would go to for shields. So they would first try to get a kite shield, then a round shield, then a plank shield, uh, if depending on what's available. And same with the rest of the slots here. So they, of course, prefer medium armors before they get into heavy armors for the footmen. And then if we go to our Vanguard, which is our next tier up, they prefer our heavy armors before they go into medium armor, medium armor and then into just regular clothing. Uh, the Vanguard will prefer a primary one or two-handed weapon and then get into shields for a secondary if they do not have a two-handed weapon or if they are using a one-hander then they will go into getting the shield but the backup to the two-hander would be a one-handed weapon there that's how that would work and then for our marksman which would be our range they of course have the, tier, the priority listing for the ash short bow then the u short bow then just the elm short bow and then a secondary would be a one-handed weapon no shields and then they prefer medium armor on our archers as well. You can create a new one. Uh, so if we go into the new preset, and then we can specify whatever we would want. So let's just call this, I'm just going to make something up just for fun. Call it Rambo. So Rambo is just going to use, let's say we want him to use two-handed weapon. He's going to have a secondary weapon. I guess we'll just give him a one hand. I'm just going to you know, whatever. Give him something, so now he's just going to prefer that. And we're going to have him be naked. Actually, well, just for sake of this, we'll specify that he should have... Yeah, we'll just give heavy armor. Um, let's give him no ch chest, just to be funny. And then we will assign medium gloves. So we'll do that for prior to this. No legs, and then he can have heavy armor boots, just for something to do. So anyhow, so that's how you create it. So obviously, if you wanted other slots, you would just add them in. So this is phenomenal. We can now customize the gear that our followers are wearing. And you can then have it set up for your groups as well. Um, so when you go through, you could have, like, if you want them all to wear a certain set of armor so they look cool. And yeah, so this is just amazing. I'm loving it. Some other combat tweaks that they have made they have reworked our so if we go into our character here sorry and get into our attributes so they have reworked how combat experience works so defeating enemies grants a certain amount of experience depending on the type of enemy that we defeated so depending on what they were we're going to get bonus or experience into either strength or agility as well as depending on the weapon used part of it will be shared with teammates who also assisted in the kill and are fighting nearby if they're fighting other other mobs or other bandits or brigands so basically it's a shared pool uh, they're going to get some credit because if they're keeping the other guys busy while you handle your guy they're going to get some reward for that as well so it's going to be very beneficial in multiplayer uh, they have also added a way to mitigate speed reduction from our armor so they added an element to our strength which is going to reduce the speed reduction from the different armor that we're wearing. So that's going to help us run faster, even if we are in full plate. So that is phenomenal. Another very cool thing that they added here, so I'm just going to grab somebody, is they have added that our followers here. So when they run out of food, they will not switch back to workers. They're going to stay with us and keep us company as long as we want. However, if we get into combat, they are going to run away. So kind of like how the guard works. Where <laughs> Sorry, I just saw her come running up with her 
next match outfit that I obviously haven't been paying any attention to. So, whereas currently, like, on guard status, if they run into food, they will keep being a guard and patrol around, and you get the benefit of them being a guard, but if combat was to happen, they would hightail it. Now the companions are going to be in the same thing. If combat starts, they're going to run away. But the thing that this allows is for them to follow us across the map, and then we can feed them when we get there, instead of having to exhaust all our food in process of the whole march across the area. So that is actually very, very nice. I love that. Another thing that they have added in, we can actually give our companions nicknames. So here we go, Frank. So let's call him. We can add in a nickname here. Let's call him Frank. Uh, let's call him Rocky, just for something to do. And then, yeah, here he is here. So when you go over and look at him, Frank Rocky Barstow. So that's pretty cool. So that is going to add some personalization or customization, whatever you want to do. Name somebody after a buddy, a friend family member or just you know go to town with making your own unique nicknames for everybody or you can name them specifically for kind of something you have in mind which is just going to make it that much easier finding them so if we go through here uh there we go just rocky so that, i mean you can name them however you want that is pretty cool some other improvements that they had done so i'm just going to rhyme these off in quick order so they have continued to further improve our gpu related issues so we do have some of those because this game does run heavy in that department so that is always nice uh for our villagers they have given us some improvements as well or did some updates so our villagers when they're hungry so now they get a debuff to minus 20 percent to their movement speed they have also made villagers equip bags as separate containers instead of extending their inventory so and that makes them respect container rules they had added a visible settlement of origin so this is pretty handy so here we go here here and dean so this is for of course if we have more than four of them from one uh settlement we ended up with a carpet bagger so we're going to lose some morale so so i guess it says here when more than three fellow settlers so if it will help you manage that better whereas before you had to kind of like remember where they came from which would be pretty tough especially if you're like me and we have a ton of followers obviously i would have got that anyways because that is way too many to have in one place they have also fixed the movement speed debuff not working they have lowered the movement speed debuff from being injured so it was minus 50 percent now it's down to 20 and then for our workers here or our companions if they had a weapon they have now achieved it when they go back to being a worker so before if they were a companion had their weapon out and then they became a worker they would walk around with their weapons out all the time and that could impede them with doing some of the tasks that they were assigned so now they would put that away and only use the tool if they had a tool given to them and so that is awesome as well so that is going to wrap up the rundown here of all the different changes. I'm excited about this. I mean, it's pretty cool. The gear preset, our followers not leaving us if they run into food, all the, the nicknames. I mean, there's not much about this that I don't love. That is all awesome. I'm excited for the hit the preview branch, and I can't wait for it to hit the live. So again, that'll probably take a week or so for it to go from preview to live based on past experience. But let me know in the comments below, what is the best or your favorite update for the preview branch in this round what are you still waiting for or looking to find, looking to see in this game but yeah that's going to wrap it up for me so as always i appreciate like shares and subscribe so please click those buttons and until next time i hope you're enjoying bell right and we will see you in the next video